You know, Donna, I have to be someplace, so I really don't have time to explain why certain people are attracted to each other. I thought you said you didn't have any family in town. I don't. So then where are you going? To visit friends. Anybody I know? <laughs> you know, frankly, it's none of your business. What's this thing? That is a gift for someone. And as I said before, I I'm really in a hurry to get going, if you don't mind. Yeah, I know, but you know what? I just can't help thinking about something that you said before, about um, being your own best friend. Yeah, so? Yeah. Because a friend of mine used to say that all the time. And, you know, the way you twist in your ring, I told you before, she used to do that, too. Well, I thought I explained that to you back at Vanessa's. It, the ring is new. It feels awkward on my finger. And if it makes you feel any better, people tell me I look like someone else all the time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I held you up. Uh, you know, maybe we can just get together some other time. That would be great. I'd like that. And thanks again for the invitation. You're welcome. Oh, one more thing, Annie. Yeah. God, you are Annie. Me? Annie, I, I don't know what you're talking no, 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 about. No, 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 just stop it. Stop pretending. I called you Annie, and you answered me because you are. I knew it. You are. You're Annie. I, I don't know what is going on with you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What do they have you on? On some kind of pain medication for your burn or something? Well, that's a nice try, but I know what I know. Look, Dinah, I misunderstood what you said. I don't think so. Look, I am not your long-lost friend, Annie Dutton. She's dead, remember? Well, that's what you wanted people to think when you escaped from jail. Look, I know you're under a lot of strain right now with everything that's going on in your life. And I also know what it feels like to wish things were back the way they used to be once upon a time. But that's just not the way the world works, Dinah. You just have to accept things for the way they are. You don't have to tell me that. Look, you know, I, I really, I gotta get going. Okay, so, excuse me, do you mind? Yeah. Uh, that's fine, you know what, you, you have a nice trip. I just hope you don't mind if I run some DNA tests on your hair. You know, just for the hell of it. You're still my lawyer, Ben. I have the bill to prove it. Consider yourself paid in full. You could have mailed them. Yes, but I wanted to handle this <clears throat> in person. There's a few things I want to straighten out with you. <sighs> That's fine. Just be quick about it, please. Ross came to see me. Mm. He made it perfectly clear that our marriage is over. He also led me to believe that he's going to let me have permanent custody of the boys. So what, you don't believe him? What? I believe that our marriage is over. But I have to be prepared in case Ross changes his mind about the boys. I can't lose them. So I need to know that you're still working for me, Ben. No games. This is very serious. If you need me, I will represent you. All right? So if you'll excuse me, I have to go get dressed for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay? Okay. Thank you. I'll let you do what you have to do. Thank you. As long as you're being honest with me. <gasps> Going out to Thanksgiving dinner, are you? I ordered a snack. Mm -hmm. I'll take right. that. Thank you. Um. Some snack. Didn't even go for a turkey sandwich. I thought you were leaving. And I thought you were going for some big dinner. Why'd you lie to me, Ben? I don't know. I was just on the outside. Buzz, how can both of our granddaughters be missing? Uh, Jenna's convinced she's not inside. She's done. Well, no doubt the sign outside. everywhere. Is there, is there a way up to the roof? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Come on, show us. I want you to stick around until we find Marina Look, and Lizzie. Do you understand me? I didn't take them. I told you. Why the hell would I? For the money. You know Lizzie's a Spalding. You want the ransom. Lady, look, I don't need your money. But if you want me to stick around here, fine. I'll stick around here. I'll even help you look for them. All right? How do you like that? 
I don't know, but if I was a child, this might look enticing to me. Lizzie! Marina, are you in there? Do you have any idea where they could be? Oh, they'll turn up. In the meantime, why don't you find Vicky? I'm sure she could use a nice, strong shoulder to lean on. How could you push me out of Spalding at a time like this? There are two girls missing right now, okay? For now, that's the only thing that matters. I am simply suggesting that you help Vicky find them. I, I just don't know where she could all right, be. All right, just... all right, let's think this through. Let's think this through. If Danny's on the level and the girls just wandered off, what would they have been drawn to? Uh, Matt, I don't know. I, I, well, I, I, I just, I don't think okay, about okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, she, uh, she likes her bride's doll. She, she likes tea parties. And, and sometimes she likes to dress up and pretend she's a ballerina. But, uh, uh, Okay, well, this place used to be an old theater before it was a bar, so that might be something to go on. Okay, I mean, if okay, they tried to... Listen, this is exactly right, because I remember when I was a young girl, my father would bring me here, we would see the performances, and then afterwards, we would go backstage, and we'd talk to the actors, and they were dressing rooms. Where are the dressing rooms? Do you know where they are? Uh, this way, I think. Let's just check it out. Uh, but, you know, it's the kind of thing a young girl would love to do. Uh, so, uh, honey, can you help me? Yeah. feel sorry for us, we'll be in big trouble. Yeah, but twisting my ankle, all you have to do is lip blue and Listen say, out to lot. Yeah, okay. but Rick's down there, and he's a doctor. And what if he finds out and... Thanksgiving is just a plot to sell more turkeys and pumpkin pies. So if you'll excuse me, I would like to have my burger in peace. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, Helen. Helen, yeah. Just, just, just a minute. I need to take this call. I can wait. Yes. Helen, I know what day it is. Yeah. That's, that's good. Did you get my check? So, how are you? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you too, Mother. Hey! Get away! Get away oh, from that! Ben! Ben, these articles, everything in that box, this is this is all about you, isn't it? You're the boy. This 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 horrible thing, this this scalding, it happened on Thanksgiving. That's why you don't want any reminders of this day. Give me the clipping and get out of my house. Yeah, I guess I lucked out. No, you admit it. You hid those kids from us. Uh, why don't you admit? You don't know what the hell you you're talking about. You are a liar. You're lying. He's telling the truth. What'd you say, Lizzie? We were playing with his makeup up there in that little room. Before we knew it, everyone was looking for us. Even the police. We were afraid that we'd be in big trouble, so we stayed up there. Hey. Danny promised you wouldn't yell at us if we came down with you. I'm really sorry I upset you. And we're sorry too, Danny. We all owe you a big apology. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. 